Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's New Year's Eve. We've got a little bit of snow. I needed to plow, but uh, we're having some issues. Uh, it doesn't appear that I can get the, uh, the actual plow to work. Uh, looks like the control box uh, for the wireless control system is melted. So uh, what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm just going to try and get the plow off the ground. Let me show you guys what I'm doing. All right, here's what I'm doing right now. I'm just gonna put some tie straps down and uh, we're just gonna crank it up and see if I can get the plow off the ground so that I can get it into the garage way over there. And we're gonna work on it tomorrow. So let's see what I can do. Here's a wireless control box I was talking about right here. And uh, normally this little green light is on. So I checked the fuses over there and uh, I, I do have power and I have ground. Uh, but what I did notice, what looks like, uh, looks like it's had some kind of thermal event and it might be melted. You see back here, it's got some spots on it that uh, look melted right there. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. It wasn't in an area where it was uh, subject to any heat other than just sitting there. Uh, I haven't liked this wireless control unit since I got the plow. Uh, for the mere fact is uh, the remote's a little fidgety and hard to press the buttons on and hard to know where the buttons are. Uh, so this might be a good opportunity for me to maybe wire up a control inside the truck. So let's get this thing off the ground. All right, so uh, I think I got this thing uh, lifted off the ground enough that we can actually get it moved around. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to bring it into the garage or bring it into my buddy's garage. Here, I'll show you guys the straps that I got. So all I did is I just used uh, some ratchet straps. You know I love ratchet straps. And I just hooked it up and just cranked it just to get it up off of the uh, off the snow so that I can actually roll the roll the truck around because it uh, appears to be stuck there with the plow down. So yeah, that's really unfortunate. Uh, over here, I'll show you guys. Um, so here's the breaker, and I do have power here. Uh, I'll here I'll show you guys what I did with the test light. Yeah, 12 volt test light, and all it has is a uh, ground clip on the other side there. So I'll show you guys how we're hooking that up. I'm just going to go to the ground on the battery, which is right over here. There we go. And then all you do is you touch the other end to a positive, and it lights up. So what I did do is there is a fuse uh, right there in that holder. So there's also the studs on the body here. So I know I have power going out of the relay, I have power going into the relay, and these fuses, or this fuse, this is the fuse that actually goes to the control box. Hang on, I need two hands. All right, so here we go, here's the fuse that goes to the control box. It is a 10 amp fuse, and all I'm gonna do is I'm going to check uh, the one side for power. And you can see the test light lights and all I am on those little pins. And then if I go to the opposite side as well, I have power there as well. So I know that that fuse is not burnt. Now you can still check the fuse physically by looking at the bus bar inside or the brake bar. And as you can see, it is good. So I know it's not the fuse. I also checked the wiring uh, quickly at the front where the plow hooks up to the unit and that all seems to be fine so though that melted section that we saw over there in that control box uh, i suspect that's going to be the issue and uh, now i have it up off the ground and i have the side by side out so we're going to put the side by side away and we're going to go enjoy our new year's evening uh, by ourselves in lockdown here in ontario so we're going to have a little fire my wife and i and maybe uh, i don't know maybe a hot tub <laughs> Happy New Year's everybody. It's the next day and uh, as you can see, I got it all strapped up. So let's uh, go bring her into the garage.
Okay, well, guess what? This did not fit in there. Uh, the back of the truck was sticking out probably uh, eight inches or so. And now I remember when I actually put the plow on, I had the plow and the truck uh, kind of sideways, the side of the garage. So it doesn't really quite fit. And uh, lots of snow machine traffic today. They're all coming from a little lake over there. And I didn't have a chance to get out today, unfortunately. I wanted to go fishing. But, so these are the connectors here. Um, you're going to see the wire that leaves the receiver right there. Comes all the way down the firewall. Comes down here. And then I have it looped around, comes around, and then connects into this. So this connection is the power feed for the box. And uh, if we do check it, uh, you will notice we do have power. And uh, so we know that there is power getting to the box or the actually to the receiver. And this unit here, when we unplug this, all right, this unit right here, this is the plow control. So these are the wires that actuate the solenoids on the actual uh, plow. So what I was able to do, um, or what I should be able to do, this is the plow side that's in my hand right now. Uh, looking at the wiring diagram for the plow, it appears that the uh, white wire power to the white wire on, or sorry, power to the white wire that's on here uh, will give me right. Uh, power to the white and the uh, yellow will give me uh, left. Power to white, green at the same time will give me up. And power to brown only will give me down. So uh, let's give that a shot and see what happens. All right, guys, so here we go. Here is the power from the truck side right here. So as you can see, we have our 12 volts. Uh, the white wire is the ground. Now these are the wires that are gonna require power. And I'm gonna show you how I jump these. Um, I just happened on the instructions by accident on the internet. So let's see what's going on here. I made myself a couple little jumper wires, as you can see right here. Pretty simple, just some stripped, uh, stripped retaining wire. All I'm going to do, again, being very careful, uh, this is fused, so if I happen to ground it out, that's fine. I'm just going to jump it. Oh, son of a... And to demonstrate this, I'm just going to show you guys, I made myself a jumper wire. Oh, I just dropped it, son of a... All right, let's try this again. So I've made myself a couple of jumper wires, and these jumper wires will help me... Uh, sh demonstrate to you how I get 12 volts to the solenoids. So if we notice, uh, we have 12 volts. This is coming from the truck, from the actual fused uh, section of the truck. If we go 12 volts to simply white on the pump, we get the plow to turn in the right-hand direction. If we go straight to the brown, we get a down. Now the other two, the yellow and the green, are going to require two power sources. So one is going to be like that, and then the other one is a white. So when we jump those two, notice that we get left on the plow. And if I put the power over here to the green side, see there, there is some pretty considerable amperage on those because we're getting some sparks. I can see why maybe it burned. And then if we go back to the white and the green, and the uh, sorry, white and the green, we get up so I don't know what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do one of two things I'm going to it's New Year's Day so everything is closed and uh, I'm gonna do one of two things either I'm going to investigate the purchase of a new uh, control box which I have just quickly seen online is over $400 so not sure if I want to do that not too impressed right now so stick around guys, there will be a part two to this video, of course, uh, to see how we make out repairing it. Uh, this one really does me off because this is not uh, a user issue at all. This is actual hardware failure from the manufacturer and or poor designing, uh, I'm not sure. Those solenoids do appear to take uh, quite some amperage, so not quite sure uh, why that unit is overheating. It's in a nice cool spot, it's properly installed. So uh, I'm a little perturbed. So anyway, stick around. 
thanks for watching. Again, happy new year to you and your family, and I hope 2021 is a much better year than 2020, because it sucked pretty bad. Anyway, thanks for watching.